Um, so today I'm going to talk about improving your painting. Specifically, I'm going to talk about portraits because I personally use portraits to get better at drawing, get better at tone and colour because they are not very forgiving if you get them wrong. But learning to do portraits has actually helped me to learn to paint. So I stressed it as a good starting point for anyone. So before we get started, I wanted to show you what my paintings used to look like and then what they look like now. And it's still a work in progress. Like I'm not saying this is the best portrait ever, my most recent one. Um, but I just wanted to show you where I came from. Um, so this painting, you can see, um, is, so when did I paint this? This was probably done in 2019, 2020, something like that. You can see it's a face and um, it's a good thing, but you can see it's like, it's not my style. Like the proportions are weird. Um, the colours are weird, but not in a good way. I was trying to like incorporate colour. This is an acrylic as well, so I haven't really found what I wanted to do with oil. But you can see I've tried to incorporate colour, but just like a random dash of blue on her chin because I thought, oh, that's cool. Um, so yeah, that's where I came from. And then this I painted earlier this year. So this was this winter. So this is probably, probably like three years difference um, between those two. And this, you can see, like, this is obviously done in, in my technique and my style. So you can see the oil paint, like, the waves um, in her face, which is cute. And I don't love the earrings on this one, but you can tell that it's a lot more fully formed. I've, I've got better at doing proportions. Um, this actually isn't my favourite, like, toner one. I went for a really cool toned um colours in this one because I was trying to emulate like frosty winter like this really cool lilac this is kind of holly berries in the trees was my was my thought process and I really wanted her skin to be like kind of cold almost ashy um which wasn't the tone of her skin at all but yeah you can tell that between these two these two pictures if I hold them up there's definitely some progression um, I'll give myself that in between them. So, what did it take to get from where I was a few years ago to um, how I can paint now? And um, here we go, tips. Um, so, tip number one is take your time learning to draw. So, I know that a lot of people, they're like, oh, how do you paint, how do you paint, how do you paint? And I actually, the number one thing is taking time to learn how to draw. So I did loads of life drawing classes um, in London, or if I couldn't do life drawing classes because it was like £10 a session, um, I would do, uh, I would just like look up pictures on Pinterest or any picture from Instagram. And I got into this habit where um, most days before work, I would have a sketchbook on my bedside table and with a pen or with a pencil, I would do a really quick sketch of either a figure or a face. Um, today we're talking about portraits, but I did a ton of these and I would try and do like single line drawings. I would just try and sketch out um, the face, but I did this like really religiously for probably, I don't know how many months. It would probably have been like maybe four, five, six months um, that I did this. I used a lot of sketchbooks and I probably didn't do it every day. In hindsight, you always think that you did it every day, but I did it a lot um, before I went to work. This is also before work from home day, so I was going in every single day. And I think what this gets you used to is just getting into the practice of doing something. It's like, if you're an athlete, this sounds really naff, but if you're an athlete, then you train every day. If you want to be good at drawing, you draw every day. Um, and I know that my sister would take the piss out of me for saying that. But that is one thing that helped me because really the, the, the basis of a good portrait anyway, I wouldn't say necessarily a great painting, but a, a great um, portrait. And if you're looking to do more realistic paintings is a great beginning sketch because if you get those proportions wrong to start with, Yes, you can edit and adjust as you go on, 
but it's much more difficult um, and it kind of messes with your painting as well because you're too busy thinking about form rather than thinking about colour and tone if you see what I mean. So that's tip number one. Um, tip number two is about colour. So once I'd done um, a lot of work on on drawing, I, I think it was kind of at the same time to be honest, I was starting to paint as well. So you can see like this girl, I, I wasn't very good at doing the proportions, like her face is, was probably much more beautiful than that in, in, the, in the reference photo that was going off. But I was trying to understand colour and tone. And for me, when I did this, acrylic was super useful um, because you can paint quite quickly with acrylic. You can build up layers, you can paint over a colour. So if you've got the colour completely wrong, then you can just completely like obliterate it and start again. And so that was super useful for me um, to just get used to like mixing different colours together. What does it look like? What colour do I want? Actually training your eye to see colours next to each other and thinking, okay, I've, I've laid a colour that looks like this. What does the colour next to it need to look like in terms of light and shadow and also in terms of warmth and how cold it is to actually look like the form on the face should because it doesn't have to be the right colour. It just has to be the right, the right tone and kind of the right warmth. Um, so yeah. Maybe if you have time, do both in parallel, draw and learn about colour. If you don't, absolutely fine. Um, then just do one by one, build up your drawing skills and then build up your colour skills. Um, but yeah, that really helped me to like do those both together. Um, and then my third tip, I would say, if you want to make portraits that are really like unique and special um, and feel like you and something that you're proud of um, is experimenting with with different techniques so I got to the stage where I was making like pretty um, nice little portraits in acrylics but I was still kind of like yeah these are a bit boring um, <laughs> because they looked they didn't look hyper realistic, like I'm never going to be that kind of artist, I don't think. But um, they were just, I don't know, a bit flat, like the tone was very true to the reference photo. And um, everything was like very true to the reference, like I was like, okay, I've nailed this. But a little bit boring. Um, so what I would say next, and this is obviously the trickiest the trickiest one maybe is like try experimenting with with different things and like shaking up how the portrait looks because when people commission a portrait artist they're not necessarily looking for an exact replica of them they're looking for someone who can bring like the energy that they want in that painting or like the expression that they want or something about it is like oh i instantly recognize that painting as that artist like I can feel like the colour is like this or you know whatever it is so putting your your twist on it um so experiment with different mediums I've kind of gone through this in in other videos but experiment with different mediums um different ways of using colour like now I definitely don't use the colour in the reference photo like to a T I'll be I'll like up up the chroma someone said this the other day and i was like is that a, a phrase but up the chroma you know like when you're on your phone and you go saturation up that's kind of what i do sometimes and then this one i actually went saturation down which is very unlike me um because i wanted this to be like a bit more i don't know moody frosty it was meant to be wintry so yeah experiment with with what you want and um yeah that is how I took my paintings up a notch and I'm hoping to take it up several more notches um, in future but I hope that helps um, and yeah let me know what you think in the comments.